What's up, family? You're now rocking with Tough Tiger Talk on the PROBD Network. Much love uh, to the Tiger family. I'm Big Q with another installment of Tough Tiger Talk, chiming in for the week. And this article right here is entitled, Five Freshmen Most Likely to Impact on the LSU Football Team in the Upcoming Season. Shout out to the advocate on this one. Please feel free to hit the, the, the like button, fam. Hit the like button, the share button, and also the notification bell as well. And make one and make Tough Tiger Talk one of the best LSU podcasts out there. This was by Pat McGee and Wilson Alexander on the Scoop 5 Freshman. Yeah. Uh, Brian Kelly hit the transfer portal for LSU as hard as any other coach in the nation, but that won't keep several freshmen from contributing during the upcoming season. LSU is looking to rebound from that stanky 6-7 and seven campaign, and Kelly knows fans will expect a better mark this season if freshman wants to get on the field in the 2022. They'll have to have a high standard to meet. Now, look, here's a look at five freshmen that's recognized by Wilson and Pat McGee. So it's never easy to start in the Southeastern Conference as a freshman, but Will Campbell left the spring as the top man at the left tackle for the Tigers position. We all know that offensive line is a big, a big thing for LSU and a big for success in fundamental football. They have to show up. Now at six foot six, 317 pounds, he has the size necessary to compete immediately as a true freshman. A strong spring from Campbell convinced the staff to move last year's left tackle starting left tackle cam wired a right tackle now considering campbell was inserted as a freshman starter at neville high school in monroe it shouldn't come as a surprise that he's going to be on the field immediately at lsu that's number one also to kind of solidify the offensive line coach kelly knows that will campbell's a big part of it he is the second freshman harold perkins the linebacker did take part in the spring practice after signing with LSU in February, but Perkins got a shot to get on the field in a hurry. He listed at six foot two, 220 pounds. He has great speed. He has he timed off at four, four, nine in the 40. They'll have plenty to prove in preseason camps, but the kind of speed he often make up for the freshman mistakes on the field he has. LSU missed out on some big targets in February, but Perkins was the highest rated player who was still available and we got him. Next on the list, Nathan Dilbert, who's the kicker. Now we know Cade Yark is gone. He decided to forego his final year of eligibility and Dilbert's chances of kicking field goals as a freshman increased significantly. Now Dilbert signed with LSU in December and Yark announced his plans to go pro in January. Now also, uh, Ezekiel Mata left the spring atop the depth chart, but Dilbert will have a shot to show up in camp that he's the best option to replace York. Now Dilbert offers a big leg with three field goals over 50 yards as a high school senior, and he should also have asset. He should be a big time asset on kickoffs as well. Number three, Quincy Wiggins, defensive end. LSU is talented. We have a bunch of talented edge rushers and Wiggins should foot in nicely. Now, Madison Prep grab as the build of a prototypical SEC defensive end, 6'5", 273, and Wiggins had 13 sacks. That's right, 13. As a senior, seems built to take the field early. It'll just be a matter of beating out some other players for opportunities. If he gets to the quarterback as much as he did in high school, he'll get snaps soon, plenty of them. And then, of course, finally, offensive line. Once again, Emory Jones for an offensive line that's going through something of a rebuild. The talented Jones could provide crucial depth at the left guard position. At six foot six, 332 pounds, more than big enough to contend with defensive linemen in the SEC. Jones will also play basketball as Catholic in Baton Rouge, brings plenty of athleticism to an interior spot on the old line. What do you guys think? Do you like these five freshmen presented? Uh, by the advocate that can impact LSU football in the upcoming year. Who do you think? Do you guys got anybody else you want to throw amongst these guys that should help LSU in the winning column? Please put them in the comment section below. With that being said, I'm Big Q with another episode of Tough Tiger Talk. Please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and share Tough Tiger Talk with other Tough Tiger Talk family members across the nation. I'm going to holler at you guys on the next report. Peace and go Tigers. Perfect.